Did you know that there's options on your fire stick that you can turn off to make your fire stick run even faster and better? Stay tuned. Welcome everybody to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and on today's video I am going to show you how to supercharge your fire stick. That's a term that we use here when we go ahead and disable certain features that you may not be using to go ahead and improve the performance of your fire stick. Therefore, supercharging it. So let's go ahead and get started. I want you to go ahead and hit the home button so we're both on the same page. And when you hit the home button, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the right to settings. I'm also going to explain the features that we're turning off here so you guys know exactly what you're doing. You're going to go down and then to the right and you're going to start off by going to applications. Go to applications. The first one is Amazon Photos. Now, for those of you that like storing pictures in your Amazon account and everything and you want to view them through your Fire Stick, then you want to keep this feature on. But most of us, not even myself, you really use this feature. Um, so it's something that you want to turn off. You don't want to constantly running in the background looking for those photos to come into the Fire Stick. So you click on it. However, before you do anything, there's a right way to do this because this particular feature glitches out if you don't do it the correct way. So you can't just go ahead and turn it off. You literally have to go down to where it says Access Amazon Photos and click on it, click Disable, and then Disable again. And you're going to wait for it to disable. It's going to kick you back the screen like you did, like it just did right now. You're going to click on Amazon Photos again, and then you're going to click on where it says Allow Guest Connections. So you're going to click on it one time and turn it off. If you turn it off first and then disable it, when you leave, and you come back in, the allow guest connection automatically turn itself back on. So this is the correct way of doing it. So it makes sure that it stays off when you do it. Okay, so access Amazon Photos first, disable that. It'll kick you back a screen, go back in, and then turn off allow guest connections. When you Once you do that, let's hit the back button one time. Then you're going to go down to Game Circle. This is for people playing games um, and everything on your Fire Stick. You really don't need to do that. The games are pretty cheesy, and I'm sure everybody out there either has an Xbox, has a PlayStation, or has games on your phone. Fire Stick, mostly because of the remote control. It's just working any of the games with, with the remote control. It's just a pain in the butt. Anyway, if you can avoid playing video games, it's also a way to keep the Fire Stick running smooth if you don't download those cheesy games that the, the Play Store uh, gives you and offers you. So I want you to click on Game Circle and then just click on it to turn it off like you this like this here and then you're gonna hit the back button you're gonna hit the back button a second time and it's gonna put your applications if you went back too far to the home screen no big deal just go to settings and now when you go to settings this time I want you to go to preferences click on preferences now here we got parental controls we got a bunch of features that you can turn on but we're gonna focus on just some of them privacy settings let's click on that Device usage data. You don't need this. You don't need uh, Amazon seeing what you're doing and giving you advice on what to watch and not to watch. Basically, it it um, it just tells tells you how much uh, usage of your Fire Stick you're using. It just it reports back to Amazon. It's really none of their business. So I like turning that off, and and then turning that off again, and then collect uh, app usage data. The same thing. We're gonna turn that off. Running in the background. We're going to turn off the interest-based ads. Basically, whenever you're clicking on certain things, it takes that information and it uses this to send you ads that they think you might be interested in. Okay, so that's we're going to turn that off. Hit the back button once. Data monitoring. That should be off automatically, but if it's on in your Fire Stick, make sure you turn that off. Notification settings. This one, um, I like keeping that on because if there's a new notification or something that, that I need to know about, I keep it on. Um, for app notifications and stuff like that so but when I mean when I mean keep it on guys you're gonna have do not interrupt off because if you put that on it's not gonna give you any notification so this feature should be off let me just clarify that okay so have it off feature content what is feature content okay before I turn this off I'm gonna show you what it is just in case you don't want to turn it off but I'm gonna hit the home button feature content it's going to be to see those advertisements right now where it says celebrate the joy of black voices and stuff. If I were to go down and highlight that within a few seconds, I'll start getting this advertisement. Now, I won't keep too much of it for copyrights things, So, but every time you highlight an advertisement, you get that. Now, 
If I go down and go to the right, you see those little bubbles that I'm going through right here? You see the arrow right there showing you? Okay, those are different advertisements. So whatever I leave it on for a few seconds, I'm, I'm gonna start getting an advertisement on that, like a video, like dead in the water. Then I start getting a video again, okay? So I'm gonna get out of that again for copyright reasons. What turning off feature contents does is those ads will still be there, but the video and the audio will not run. And I'll show you what that means. So I'm gonna go back to settings. Go down and go to the right to preferences. Click on preferences, go down to feature content. I'm gonna turn both of these off, which is what I recommend you guys to do. And then I'm gonna go back to the home screen just to show you. Now when I go over it, notice nothing happens. It'll automatically move you to the next bubble, as you can see there, but you're not getting that video to go along with whatever advertisement it's, it's being shown there. So you're not eliminating the advertisements of the shows that they want to advertise. You're eliminating the preview of that particular show or whatever it is they're advertising. I personally don't care for it. That is one of the biggest things that continues to run in the background on your Fire Stick. And by disabling it, it does improve your performance on your Fire Stick because it's not constantly running videos in the background. But if you like that feature, you can keep it on uh, the the performance on the fire stick is not going to drop dramatically because you're running that in the background but it is a good help if you do turn it off just keep that in mind the next thing that we're going to do let's go back to preferences for one second make sure there's nothing else uh sync no everything else is fine so the last thing is feature content you turn those off yes feature content is the last one that you want to uh turn off is feature content and that's going to get your fire stick working to an extreme high performance on that because uh, you're not going to have things that you don't use constantly running in the background of your fire stick if you're looking for a video that's going to help you troubleshoot your fire stick and get your fire stick running to its full potential again because you're having issues with connections your apps are glitching out your movies are not playing right you're you're having interruptions with internet going in and out i have that link in the description of this video Click on that one and it'll show you how to troubleshoot everything on your Fire Stick. So if you add these, uh, if you turn off these features like we did here, then you go to that video and you do everything on that video to make sure that you're connected to the best connection. It'll show you also how to restart your modem and router. It'll show you everything you need to do to make sure the Fire Stick's running right. Then you should be good to go. If you have any questions or anything, hit it in the comments below. But before you go, please guys, if you can subscribe to this channel, like this video and ring that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a helpful video. It will help me out a lot and I can keep these videos going. Thanks again for watching. I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, happy streaming.